As you may have seen, we've recently extended the furlough all the way through to March next year. With that in mind, here are 10 things you need to know about the Coronavirus Job Retention Scheme. Number one, the furlough scheme covers the whole of the United Kingdom and we will continue to apply the furlough to each part of our nation equally, treating every citizen the same. I've also increased the upfront guarantee of funding for the devolved administrations from £14 billion to £16 billion. Two, the furlough scheme extension means we will no longer be paying the jobs retention bonus in February. The bonus was designed to encourage employers to keep people in jobs until the end of January and obviously that remit has now been covered by the furlough scheme. However, we will reintroduce a retention incentive at the appropriate time. Three, businesses still have the option to bring furloughed employees back to work part-time. They can decide hours and shift patterns that are appropriate for their businesses with the UK government paying 80% of the salaries for the hours they're unable to work. Four, there are currently no salary contributions from employers. The only thing businesses are asked to cover is national insurance and employer pension contributions for hours that are not worked. We've done the maths and for an average claim, this works out to be just 5% of total employment costs or roughly 70 pounds per employee per month. Five, if you were employed on or after the 23rd of September, then made redundant, your employer can rehire you and put you back on the furlough scheme, whether flexibly or fully. Hopefully, this will enable many companies to do the right thing and bring back hardworking employees who through no fault of their own have found themselves out of work. Number six, claims opened on Wednesday the 11th of November and claims made for November must be submitted to HMRC by no later than the 14th of December 2020. Claims for each subsequent month should be submitted by the 14th day of the following month. So January the 14th for December claims, February the 14th for January claims and so on. Seven, you don't have to be a UK citizen to be eligible for the scheme. Foreign nationals can also be furloughed. Eight. Any employee on any kind of contract, including zero hours and apprenticeships, can be furloughed for any amount of time or shift pattern. But once they are furloughed, they must stay that way for at least seven consecutive days. Nine, as I've said, the CJRS extension in its new form will definitely run until the end of March. But we will be reviewing the scheme in January to examine the economic circumstances at the time. If things have improved markedly, we will ask employers to increase their contributions to the scheme. If they haven't, then things will remain as they currently are. Number 10. The furlough scheme has so far protected over 9 million jobs across the UK as part of an unprecedented £200 billion support package. This is in addition to billions of pounds in tax deferrals, tax cuts and grants for businesses. We recently published the full guidance on the furlough, so search on gov.uk to read more.